We all thought that Manchester United's transfer activity was completely and utterly finished after Anthony and Martin Dubravka, the fifth and the sixth signings of the summer. Maybe not. Maybe we were wrong and maybe we will be getting a right back to come in and offer competition and support to Diogo Delo. Reports suggesting that Serginio Des from Barcelona and Thomas Munier from Borussia Dortmund are both available on loan now rather than being sold for a fee. And that's where the difference has come in the last 24 hours. In this video, I'm going to run through all the news and the updates for you on the Dest to United story and Munier to United. We're going to take a look at the profiles of both of these players and we'll have a little discussion. Which of those would be the better of the signings if Manchester United were to make one of them? You can let me know in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. We'd love to have you as part of the community. But let's dive into this one. Now, as I said, it was only, what is it, yesterday that we were hearing from Jason Burt from The Telegraph and pretty much every other decent outlet that, you know, the transfer spending was finished after Anthony. Then less than 24 hours later, we're hearing that Man United are exploring, again exploring, because we've been linked with Dest and Munier across the summer and Denzel Dumfries, loads of other right backs too. We're hearing that both are now available on loan. We go over to here, to this is from James Ducker from The Telegraph saying, look, it comes as a United chase at Serginio Dest as a surprise late move because Barca are now allowing him to go on a season-long loan rather than demanding a permanent fee and that Dortmund would be willing to let Munier go to get his wages off the bill. We go to an update from James Ducker this afternoon, this might as more than just about, saying, look, Ten Hag would like to add the right back. But he's saying it's more likely that one isn't going to come in. That's what James Ducker is saying. Because we know full well we've had approaches for Aaron Wan-Bissaka, but we've been pushing them back as a club because we haven't had a replacement lined up. That changes if, if we can get Dest or Munier on loan. And by the sounds of it, they are available. So let's take a look at the profiles of Diogo Delo, of Wan-Bissaka, compare them to Dest and Munier and try and understand which one would make more sense for Eric Ten Hag to sign. Diogo Delo has not got the most incredible stats in the world. And I'll tell you what, given this is over the last 365 days, I imagine if you were to compare that to the last, I don't know, 30 to 60 days, well, 30 days really, he's only played a few games. I imagine he's going to be far better in these compared to these stats down there. But I think when you take a look at wan stats over here and you just see how little Aaron wan adds to the team going forward, even just compared to Diogo Delo, let alone what we're going to see with Serginio Dest and Thomas Munier, it's abundantly obvious. Abundantly. We've seen it in the preseason as well. Aaron wan has been in the shadows. Aaron wan has not been played. He got a few minutes against Liverpool. It's obvious that this we can say I would say we, can, we can't say with facts because we're still making assumptions. But based on what we've seen and the evidence that we've got to deal with, Eric Ten Hag doesn't trust Aaron wan -Bissaka. He's not going to trust Aaron wan -Bissaka. And we've all watched Aaron wan -Bissaka in the last couple of years. Simply put, he hasn't developed into a modern day fullback. Very decent right back, not a modern day fullback, which is exactly why we're being linked with Serginio Dest and Thomas Munier. So what I'm going to do now is take a look at the, the profiles of Serginio Dest. We'll have a look at the tactics board. We'll, we'll slot them in and, we'll, and we'll have, I want you to let me know in the comments, as I said, which one do you think is better? Because if both are available on loan, there's no risk. Age isn't really a factor. He's only going to be on loan for a season. It's there to offer support for Diogo Delo. So we want somebody who's got more of a profile of this. Somebody who's got some progressive passing in their game. Somebody who can help going forward rather than wan Saka, who simply put, while he does have good passing, progressively, he's not bringing the ball forward. Defensively, he's sound. We know that. But he doesn't add to the team going forward. And that's where Serginio Dest would be different. Of course, Serginio Dest made his debut for the Ajax senior team in 2019 under Eric Ten Hag. But he was only there for a year before he went away to Barcelona. Now, he was, I think it was about 20, 30, 20, 30 million that Barcelona signed him for. Uh, they, had Nasser, they had Masraoui. He was settled as a right back and he's only left this season on a free to Bayern Munich. But take a look at this, right? If we're, if we, if we're comparing Diogo Delos to Serginio Des profile, you can see there and also compare it to Aaron wan Bissaka's, and the, the, it's, it's phenomenally different. Serginio Des is a man, I mean, if, you, if you've watched Barcelona play, if you've watched Serginio Des play over the last couple of years, you'll know where his strengths lie. He is a good dribbler. He is somebody who can carry the top second, top two percentile for dribbles completed and progressive carries compared to any other fullbacks in football. Top 5% for pass completion. Progressive passing, 73% compared to wan of 16%. That's the, that's the ultimate difference that you've got between Serginio Dest 
and Aaron Wan-Bissaka is bringing the ball forward. Defensively, he's not, he's not that good, right? That's where his weaknesses lie. And again, that's where you're going polar opposite to where Aaron Wan-Bissaka's strengths are. Serginio Des is going to have some weakness defensively, no doubt. But there is, in my opinion, no doubt that he adds to this team going forward. Now, Serginio Des, if you look at his... Um, oh, very nice. I don't like that. Sofa Score's website just decides to auto-refresh itself. It must be an advert thing. Bastards. Anyway, Sofa Score, sort it out. I'm trying to use your website here. I'm trying to give you free exposure. So if you, this, this, because he hasn't played a minute, and this is an, this is an important one as well. Serginio Des not be involved in any of Barcelona's matchday squad so far. The stats here from last season. Heat map, mainly on the right-hand side. You can see how progressive he is. Also on the left-hand side, which I found is an interesting comparison. In terms of injuries, it's fair. It, I think it's a fair point to take a look at the injuries of both. I mean, he's muscular injuries last year, but there's nothing absolutely major there. Missed nine games. Missed, uh, to be fair, he's missed a couple of months. What's that? Between March and May. Missed the end of the season due to injury. I can completely understand the concept of Serginio Desta Manchester United. No, he's not the perfect solution overall to Manchester United's right back, I would say, problems. I mean, look, Diogo Delo has showed progression this year, but Aaron wan is not that guy. And Serginio Des ticks a lot of the progression boxes that Eric Ten Hag is trying to build into this team. So in terms of a short term loan option for a season, you can completely understand why Eric Ten Hag would rather have Serginio Des in his squad then Aaron Wan-Bissaka. It's obvious he doesn't trust the profile of Wan-Bissaka. And I'd rather, whether it's Serginio Dest or maybe it's going to be Thomas Munier, I'd rather have, I'd rather Eric Ten Hag had a right back that he could trust because if we don't bring in a right back as a backup to Diogo Delo and we keep Wan-Bissaka, I think the profile, I think how Manchester United play on that right flank will change dramatically when Diogo Delo is not in the team. And that's a risk. Because he won't be able to play every single game this season. He has to be taken in and out. And that's where Thomas Munier comes in as another option. Now, Thomas Munier, 30, a completely different uh, completely different age uh, of a defender compared to Serginio Des. But if this is, is Serginio Des' profile, this is Thomas Munier's. And you can see quite a lot of similarities between the both. Uh, the, the, the jarring nature of, of wan Sackers compared to Serginio Des, you don't have that between Serginio Des and Thomas Munier. You can see about his progressive pass and you can see about his progressive carrying. Obviously, because of the extra height he's got, he's in the top 10 percentile for aerials. One, but look, assists, he's up there. In terms of adding to the attack, Thomas Munier is, a, is in a similar vein to Serginio Dest. And you can therefore understand exactly why he would be considered another right-back option, especially if both are going to be available on a free transfer. Just until maybe a one-year loan deal, it's not really a risk to Manchester United. It's just giving Eric Ten Hag a bit more of what he would rather have. If you take a look at his uh, stats this season, you can see that his heat map is a progressive right. He's a, he is a progressive right back. And he's played in that Belgian team, that Belgian golden team they had. He was actually pretty damn good. I remember him. Was it the World Cup? I think it was. I think it was. He, I think he's only played 90 minutes once this season and then came off as a halftime sub in the second game and played like 20, 30 minutes in the third game. He's not a... He's not a first-team regular at Dortmund. And the big concerns that a lot of people would have about Munier are his injury concerns. You can see here he missed... He, he tore his tendon in February, missed the rest of the season, had a minor knock for... Look, missed three games there. He had like three or four injuries there. He's had quite a few injuries, I think it's fair to say. The junior desk by comparison. I mean, look, to be fair, he did miss the majority of the end of the season from March until the end of the season. But Thomas Munier... He suffered a little bit more. So I want you to let me know in the comments here. If you had two choices, and you do have two choices here. You've got Thomas Munier. You've got Serginio Dest. If both of those are available on free transfers, not free transfers, sorry, on loan deals for one season, who would you rather have? Now, Serginio Dest, it looks like Fabrizio Romano is confirming that Villarreal are already in conversations to have that loan spell, and it's up to him. And Manchester United can only do it if we find a club for wan -Bissaka. But that shouldn't be hard. We've got two clubs right there who have already gone for him. But we've pushed them away because we didn't have replacements. If that could be wan -Bissaka going out with Serginio Des coming in or Thomas Munier coming in, then we've got options. And I'd like United to take one of those options. Now, which one would you prefer, Serginio Dest or Thomas Munier? You let me know in the comments below. But in an ideal world, I think we get this deal done. Getting one of them in on a loan deal, maybe a minor loan fee, having Wan-Bissaka leave 
on a loan deal, maybe for a minor loan fee. I wouldn't say it's a significant upgrade, but it gives Ten Hag a better profile of a backup at right back to Diogo Delo, who's probably going to be our first choice this season and better than wan because he does not progress the ball. He doesn't bring it forward, not in the same way that Serginio Des does and not in the same way that Thomas Munier does. But you can let me know what you think about that in the comments below, but maybe we're going to do another transfer. And if it is, it's going to be right back support to strengthen the depth of the squad. 